Oh boy, like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff help promote and make up my channel. So we're going to be talking about the Chucky TV show and Chucky getting gay up in this. Well, he's not getting gay himself, but the main character, for some reason, they chose to center this around a teenager who's gay. Actually, I was interested because if you can see, they're talking about how Chucky TV show was directly inspired by Child's Play 2. And that's cool. I just watched Child's Play 2 a couple of days ago. Again, because it's my favorite one. Before, you know, she to Chucky and Bride to Chucky, I just went overtly comedic and, and into this really bizarre direction. TV show is inspired by the tone of 1990s Child Play 2. And what really confuses me, uh, I hope somebody can really shed some light on this in the comments section. I watched the trailer. It's filled with LGBT stuff. <laughs> um, and that's not really a problem. What confuses me, I'm, I'm missing something. I'm really missing something. Maybe it's because I don't remember Curse of Chucky that well because I thought it sucked. I thought the one that came before that was a good start to getting this thing back on track because Seed of Chucky was really awful. Bride of Chucky was definitely a step down. Charles played three. I, I barely remember anything at all from it. I just remembered that it wasn't as good as the first two. Just really confused about why Chucky's palling around with this kid, like killing all people that are mean to him. Because Chucky needs to inhabit a body. He needs to take a body, and usually he goes straight forward for that kind of thing. The girl that was like the foster sister is going to pop up in this series. Somebody to just chime in in the comments section and explain the gap in knowledge that I seem to lack when it comes to this because I don't understand why Chucky's like killing people for this kid even though this kid may not necessarily want him to he's doing it he, he's killing people that are mean to this kid killing people that are bullies to this kid and I, I'm just trying to understand how this fits into the lore or because I really don't remember hey Simon do you remember the good old days when you were gay Chucky focuses on teenage Jake, who is, in addition to being something of a loner, is also struggling with his own sexual identity and bullied as a result. Jake, they understand, does he have to rack up a certain body count or something? Well, what's going on here? Somebody, please, fill in that gap that I missed. One well, of the biggest changes that Chucky brings is a focus on Jake's sexuality, because that's absolutely important when we're dealing with... Uh, serial killer that inhabits a doll from supernatural means having a gay lead character is another first for the franchise and the series intends to explore jake's sexuality how it affects the character's day-to-day -day life during chucky's recent feature ad at this year's comic-con at home don machini spoke about how the series moves beyond simply being a horror tv program and instead showcases plenty of heart in dealing with jake's friendship and crush on teen Devon Evans. I don't care, you want to have gay characters, that's fine, but the way you just, the way that was just worded makes it sound like more about some kid trying to come out of the closet than it's going to be about Chucky. Now, the trailer showed plenty of murders, plenty of grisly stuff. Chucky's definitely out to get people, and, and he's going to rack up the bodies, but the way they wrote oh, where this just makes it sound weird. It may not seem like a, such a huge step forward for Chucky to have a gay lead character who also happens to be a teen nature that's a little off-putting for me uh but i'll i'll try to watch it but the fact of the matter is that the move is indeed a substantial one traditionally slasher films have wallowed in a very dated and sexist point of view you stupid bitch you filthy slut did you fuck with me an honest appraisal of many of the slasher films today are viewed as classical the classic points to a very limited, inaccurate view of teenagers and adults. The portrayal of sexual orientation is typically staunchy, macho, and heterosexual. You goddamn women drivers! We can't have any of that he-man. We gotta have he-ma'am. 
with little room for anything else to have. One of the oldest ongoing horror franchises acknowledge this and change it accordingly for its TV spinoffs is a great sign of change and diversity to come in the genre. Of course, simply making a lead character gay and exploring the challenge he faces in grappling with his sexuality doesn't necessarily mean the series itself will be a hit. Of course it doesn't. If Jake's sexuality can open up the series in a new way and indeed does provide plenty of heart while keeping the scares coming, then it does seem that Chucky's small screen and rival just might find itself in a win-win situation. As long as the show's good, it really doesn't matter that there's a like a gay dude in there. It, like in a positive or negative way but if you're going to hyper focus on the fact that he's just gay for the sake of you know having gay people and representation in stuffy that that's just ridiculous somebody please fill me in on the gap of knowledge that i'm missing why is chucky killing a bunch of bullies and stuff for this kid that's getting picked on it's strange to me and it's cool how they're doing like practical effects in here the biggest concern is that he he's gonna take so much crap for being gay in this day and age honestly it's the opposite direction we're gonna get to a point where straight people are, are getting bullied because they're not gay it's to be just hardcore straight they're extremely against gay and, and things got toned down a little bit more opened up uh, but now we're going in the opposite direction where gay kids are gonna be bullied straight kids at school you're so straight my ass can take a lot of pounding I didn't say pound, I said kick. Same thing. No, it, it really isn't. It's the same thing with women, being straight up sexist and all that, and, and we're just going to the opposite extremes. Black people used to deal with a lot of racism, uh, racism uh, and we've gone to the extreme where now it's white people dealing with a lot of racism and black people can do no wrong. We are going to the extreme opposite in every single direction. Let me know your thoughts and opinions on this Child Play TV show. We'll give it a shot, give it a chance, just because they're talking about taking inspiration from Child's Play 2. They're promising to have like the foster sister back on there at some point in this. I'll see it, but it, it, they're focused on his sexuality and everybody's like treating him like crap just because he's gay, then I call BS on that because that's not the times we live in. Back in, uh, Back in older, you know, days, older times, yeah, that's that's where we live. But we don't live there anymore. It's quite the opposite. Anyways, like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. Stay awesome. Rock on. Be waiting with anticipation for that ass pounding.